Wow. Mucus plug. Sorry to just lose my mucus plug. The first they've said to wait to 2024. Uh. <laughs> Baby's coming soon. Mm. So your birth pool is complete. It looks beautiful. Yeah. There's only one problem. <laughs> There's like a thousand I have problems. Lots of spectators. Yeah. <laughs> and they're already giving they're me weird looks, and I haven't even started pushing a baby out yet. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, everyone. But one thing that's no joke is that Sarah is in labor, y'all. It's also the first of the year. It is January 1st, 2024. <laughs> Happy New Year! Things started at about 9 a.m., and all my babies came within 12 hours. So I'm like, what's Gonna happen this yeah, time. I don't know. <laughs> How was that one? I felt the sharpness in my right. Fifteen minutes? Fifteen minutes apart. I don't know what that means, but it means something. I think the baby's coming today, y'all. All right, so now we're cutting to how everything began earlier this morning. Some pressure. So much pressure in my. I just said, oh, there's the head, like engaging your pipes, like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me set up the birth pool. Good job, dude. Give me five. Yeah. We need to put the liner in now. Yeah, but I want to help you. You know what? I want to help you. Okay, can you pull it down right here? Yeah. So you gotta pull it down over those handles right here. And there we go. It's just all clearing out. For the tub to drain, you have to pull the plug out. Pull the plug out, yeah. <laughs> Should I start filling up the birth pool? I'm thinking so, that. Yeah, just get the cooler water in there for right, sure. Right, so we can start getting more to room temperature. Yeah. So we don't know who this person is. We, we don't, don't know. know if this is a boy or a girl. All what? my dreams were girl dreams. And we don't have a staple down name. Yeah, we don't have a name. Well, with Cedar, we didn't have a name. But yes. we knew he was a boy. Right. It's not exciting. That could uh, I put salt, a little bit salt in it. Oh, uh, no, no, don't put any salt in it. It tastes good. Well, you'll have to see. You tell me if it tastes good. For the mm -hmm. not salt, it makes it no salt. Oh, ask me. You like the sweet potatoes? Mm. You know the plants that you pulled up? Mm. Those are sweet potato plants. Mm. But when you pull it up, they won't grow into sweet potatoes. Mm. Will you pull any more sweet potatoes up? Mm -mm. No, you're going to wait mm. until we say it's ready. Mm. And, pull up. and then we pull up. Well, you have to wait for mommy and daddy to say it's ready. Mm. Or Axel, okay? Mm. And then we can eat yummy sweet potatoes, right? Mm. So this is a chlorine filter for the hose. Gotta run this for about five minutes first before we get the pool filled up. Hey, what are you doing up there, dude? <laughs> oh yeah. Can you help me fill the pool up with water? Yeah. Okay, come on. Right now. Right now, yeah, you excited? There you go. It's not on. It's not on. That's good. Put it in the tub first. Okay, hold it so it doesn't come out. You got it? 
There we go, it's filling up. So I'm getting deja vu right now for when we filled up the birth tub, this very same birth tub for River, Cedar's big sister. That was so cool, me and Axe filling up the birth tub. We're all finished blowing up the tub, but I don't know where Axe is. Axel! <laughs> Did y'all see something? I thought I saw something. Hey, what was that? There, <laughs> there you are. Mommy, are you going to the ball? Oh <laughs> He's got the lighter on the bed. Ready to go. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. <laughs> well, we had a great time blowing up the birth pool, and filling it up, and going swimming in it, and playing pirates. But we gotta go because Axe's mommy's having a baby. <laughs> so this is the birthing room. This is where the magic is gonna happen here. Oh my goodness, I've been water birth, but I'm leaning towards maybe not doing it in the water this time. Cedar wants me to have the baby in the tub. He's like, can I get in with the baby? <laughs> oh, it's kind of cold, right? We gotta make it warm. So Axel's on dish duty. Listen to the techno. He does all of our dishes now, pretty much, so very helpful. Look, this shape my face. Uh, <laughs> this shape my face. Oh, you look very weird. You're very tall. All right, well, this isn't quite boiling, but I actually feel safer now <laughs> as opposed to waiting until it's boiling because I'm going to carry it in there and you never know what could happen when you're carrying a pot of boiling water. Oh. Oh my gosh, she is about to go oh. to a different world, y'all. I'm gonna try to get there with you as close as I can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, all right, let's go. We're leaving, we gotta hurry. You get whatever we leave behind, okay? okay. We gotta go, you guys. What do you think, mommy's gonna have a baby? Is that exciting? Don't own that. And then use it. All right, go, guys. All right, go, 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 go. That's really close together. That's like uh, four minutes. They're not super long lasting or super intense. So. Yes. But they're close together. To get, <laughs> get that birth pool. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You gotta hurry. Mommy's having a baby. What do you think about that? Pretty cool, huh? You can see in the wall. You can see in there, yeah. Is that another one? No, I think it's just the baby's kind of triggering it because they're moving around. Oh, okay, all right. Tracker ready for the baby? You ready for the new baby, huh? You gonna be a good doggy mommy? <laughs> yeah. The temperature's getting closer to being right in the birth pool here. When my son Axe was born, I got to the birth tub too late and the midwife was there and she's like you better get this birth tub full and heated up or your wife's gonna have a baby and not have the birth tub all of our children have been born in tubs somewhat like this cedar was born in a horse trough in the middle of the woods but axe and river were born in birth tubs very much like this one but all three of our kids were born in water is the point point. and trinity's actually kind of thinking that she might not birth this baby in water but i want to have it as an option just in case. Look. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's silly. silly Axel. How many books did I pick out? Two. One, two, three. <laughs> so you had a couple more good. Yeah, in the shower. Contractions. Yeah. Nice. Well, she's gonna try to get him down for NAP. Yep. So mm -hmm. that. Uh, I can just go into the zone, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We want him rested up. He wants to be there to see the baby. Do you want to see, see the baby? baby? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see when you the baby do? comes out? Yeah, so we have to get rest, right? Which one are we going to read first? The dog one. The dog one. My brave year first. What? Right, let's read. <laughs> That's a baby. There's a baby on that? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited to meet the new baby? Mm -hmm. The real baby in mommy's tummy? All right, so I just want to give a fair warning here for anyone who might be confused about what is going on here. A woman is about to give birth to a human 
child, something that every single one of us has gone through, a process we've gone through, and uh, that is being born from a woman. And so it's a totally natural and incredible thing, but it is intense. And we're gonna keep this to what we consider to be family friendly, but, oh, a fly just died. <laughs> but your family might not see things the same way we do, so I just wanna give you a heads up. It's gonna get intense. I was hoping to filter all the water that goes into that tub to take all the chlorine out, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We may not have time. contraction like I laid and I was just like resting with cedar mm -hmm. rested for about 15 minutes and mm -hmm. then I stood up and I was just like ah! <laughs> oh so standing because, up yeah. yeah gravity yeah that makes a lot of sense which is one of the reasons why she's considering not using the birth yeah pool the anti-gravity pool <laughs> last time with cedar it like relieved that pressure so much when I got in the pool mm -hmm. that I feel like it actually delayed and then I had to kind of force push right more than maybe I would have had I stayed out so right I want to avoid doing damage to my pelvic floor this time I want my body to just push the baby out right I'm so much more excited than I've ever been before about any of our kids and I'm like I was just thinking why is that I'm like oh because I don't know anything about them at all when we don't do the sonograms when you don't you know even just knowing their gender Complete or surprise. what kind of body parts they have you know it's like it, it's huge, it's really big. And so we're really like, don't know almost anything about this person other than how they kick sometimes, you know, and move around, you know? I mean, she knows a lot more than I do, but uh, <laughs> it's wild. still not a whole lot. Beef Patty and Stardew Valley. So Trinity is not a gamer, but she's been trying to connect with these two kids more and she started doing a little bit of Stardew Valley with them. Which River doesn't do. River doesn't any do game. any gaming, yeah. Video games, and I told her, oh, when you're like nine or ten, maybe we'll try it. And then I was like, well, before this baby comes, let's just do it. So we've been playing for like two and a half weeks or something like that. Yeah. So you're you're a digital <laughs> farmer now. <laughs> yeah. She's got her whole. It's inspiring me for what I want to do in Washington. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited about getting back to our homestead there in Washington. There's just so many cool projects. Yeah. So I'm excited about I'm getting some fruit, more plate, berry bushes, fruit trees fruit planted trees, and paw -paw. some pawpaw trees, some persimmon trees, mm. blueberries. Look at my little farm. Oh, oh cabbages. Yes. Red cabbage, yeah. Yes. Okay, we need to bring that to the community, community center. center. Daddy, look. Someone exchanged this hat for that trash lid, so I just dug in the trash and then I got a hat, trash hat. So the tarp won't lay down because the heat is rising up and it's pushing it up. That's funny. So you push it down, it just comes right back up. It's oh. freezing. Come here, it froze. Look at this. Oh. oh, I said to move this. So during a home birth, you gotta keep hubby fed too. So my labor snack <laughs> is some apples and cheese. I'm also getting the files that we've already recorded for the birth onto my computer so far right now. I get very paranoid about very important video footage that you can never get back if something happens. Like, I don't know, your camera shorts out and the SD card gets fried or something. It's happened before, but I will not have it happen for this birth. I tell you what. Oh, oh. oh. Man, time is passing so fast. That seemed like it was definitely the most intense. Oh, so by far. far. Oh by my far. Goodness. Wow. I was trying to get my back in a certain position up against this to try to help increase the mm -hmm. pressure, and it definitely it did. did. <laughs> okay. Baby. Baby. Uh. Oh. 
She was talking earlier, she was like, yeah, like, don't touch me too much, just like be there, but not too in my space. Totally makes sense. It's like, you can do this on your own. You don't need me, you know? Mm. But it's like, we need each other in some ways. And so I just want to be here in case you need me, when you need me. But mostly, I think you could just do this by yourself, honestly. <laughs> but with all these kids around, that's mainly what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> we keep making more, so yeah. that's what we're doing right now. They're both eating all the bird seed. They're eating bird seed? Look, see the tiny little pieces in the grass? They found them. Oh. And they're just like... Oh. <laughs> Look at Lupine. He's like, bird seed? Yep. So we were all past our due dates? Yeah. So if they come yeah, today, they they're... They've already beat everybody. Right, and how many weeks is that? 41 weeks, two days. Oh, River was 41 man. weeks, one day. Wow. <laughs> Little overachiever there. Uh, I know it. <laughs> She's just rocking it out. Those birds. In her own labor world, you guys. She's just dancing that baby out. Baby doggy. You're such a good baby. Hello everyone, my name's Lupine and I'm a baby doggy. I'm gonna dance this baby out. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I was filming you dancing. I was like, she's gonna dance the baby out. There you Aww. go. Everybody say birthday popsicle! Birthday popsicle! Birthday. Cheers! New cap it, cap your popsicle like this. Cheers! <laughs> oh, what, New that? year. Uh, it's like strawberry shortcake. Oh, but the old ones that have the nutty stuff. Yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to be. New year, new baby. Cheers. Double fist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try something. It's reminiscent of that. Yeah. Those things were the bomb. Remember those? Mm -hmm. With the little crusties on the outside. Woo! Oh. You and me, we're gonna do this. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, way easier. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I just felt the whoop, so I think maybe the rest of my mucus plug finally came out. Mm. It's just been coming out all day. I one knife. Oh, 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 careful. This is the knife you cut yourself with a long time ago, remember? Oh! Yeah, but I already have a knife up here. Oh, uh, you don't know, always have a knife. Yeah, we're gonna then Or a bigger cut with a new hat. What's that? Apple. What's this? Cheese. Yeah, what's that and that together? <laughs> Put two open. What, you have dirty hands? Oh, yes. And you're grabbing the pill box? You're gonna wash it off after. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't, 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 don't do that. Like it. No, it's not. Is that yummy? Mm -hmm. About to get crazy, yo! Go to the hospital. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> so Sarah's time contraction app just told her to go to the hospital. Nope. I'm being quiet. Yeah. When you hear her making those noises, oh. don't talk to her. And you should just like be quiet mm -hmm. and chill, period. Get here, get here, get here. Bet you can't get the basketball. <laughs> I, I bet you can't get the basketball. All right, so when it comes to birth, it's all about where you feel comfortable. Oh. So as I was saying, <laughs> When it comes to birth, 
it's all about where you feel mo meaning where you feel most comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be comfortable. Yeah. Oh my god. So Trinity is feeling more comfortable here in this bed. So that is where we're going to get our setup going on here. We're going to get a nice blanket. Oh. Instead of a birth pool, it's the birth bed. He's in the sink. Let's get down from there. He's no, in the sink, mommy. I'm talking, mommy. Oh, well. Mommy's uh, having a contraction. I'm have a baby. Yeah. You can have a baby because you're not a woman. Woman. What are you? You can have a baby. I am a you woman. You just can't yeah. out. Come on down. Come on down. Ugh. You're a beast of a woman. A champion, a warrior. It's so intense and you can't. You feel like you like can't breathe. Right. And then like as soon as it peaks and it starts going down, even though it's still like really intense and like painful, it, uh -huh. like it just feels like a massive amount of relief. Right. Cause you're like I'm going downhill now. Yeah. And then it ends and I'm like, oh, I made it. Oh. But every time it's getting more intense, I'm like, oh my gosh, they have to come out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm trying to stay connected with it, stay connected with the experience and the baby and me mm -hmm. and all of this. Because <sighs> I know this is like, like these are the most powerful experiences. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. as a woman, it really is like you're going through a portal. I feel like I'm going through like the same thing the baby's going through. Right. Like I'm walking into this like dark portal so I can get to the light on the other side. Right. We forget, or oh, I'm sorry, I forget that they're going through something very intense right now, too. <laughs> yeah. River. It's okay. Have, have Cedar use his bee fatty, please. Oh, okay, they're coming. They're coming very, very fast. So the tub is the right temperature right now? Uh, probably a little warm. I'm gonna go add some. It's getting real intense there, y'all. Are you eating your bee patty? Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get some protein and fat in this kid because he is bonkers right now and cannot. Whoa! Fly just died. Rest in peace, fly. We can't have him being bonkers while she's giving birth here. Oh my gosh, you're doing so amazing, babe. You're amazing. See who's checking the temperature. <laughs> Feel good? It got colder a little bit. Oh, I love you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, I love you so, so much. Oh, I love you. <laughs> yeah, right there, Cedar just got a bit like, hmm, this is sounding pretty intense. Yeah. Oh. Oh.
So you want to hold the baby? Yeah. Cedar is bugging to hold this baby. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm gonna hold him. Oh, he's getting upset. So you will be able to hold him in a little bit, right? Yeah. Will that be fun? Yeah. Is it a girl or a boy? Little well, ah. girl, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Little girl. They have Gentle, eyes. don't touch your eyes. Thank you guys for helping so much today. I'm so proud of you guys for helping out so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah. Some chicken soup here. Avocado. You got it. Birth recovery soup. Yeah. I got it, yes. Alright, so which story do you want to listen to? Do you want to listen to... Frank! Frank! Frank the Pickle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny one. So I have about, I don't know, 60 recorded stories on my phone that I told the kids and I recorded them before bed. If we need them to calm down or before bedtime, if Sarah can't read to them, I play stories that I've already told them. And he loves the story about Frank the Talking Pickle. <laughs> Boy, girl, boy, girl. I know. Isn't that awesome? Who are you? What's your name? What's your name, huh? I'm your daddy. Yeah, hi. And this is your sister, River. Yeah. She's so cute. She's just like moving around. You're just moving around, looking all around, huh? Yeah. So River figured out how to calm her down by letting her have her finger. Hello, you. What's your name? Can you tell us? Tell us your name. What do you think your name is, River? Maple. Maple syrup. <laughs> Your name is maple syrup. Maple, maple syrup. Ma oh, maple and then the last name is syrup. <laughs> Watch your fingers, Cedar, and make sure you don't. It's hard. Yeah. Ow. What, did it pinch your fingers? Pinch my finger, too. All right, let's okay. get a river cut. There. What? Yeah, all right, cut. All right, yeah. There we go. Hmm? Did what? Yeah, so a little left. bit in there. Yeah. Is that your baby sister? Oh, oh she's like, I want to suck on my thumb. <laughs> Are you <laughs> silly? Isn't that funny? She's trying to find her finger. Oh, hi, Cedar. I love you. You're my brother. I want to touch your shirt. <laughs> okay, you know what she wants, Cedar? Uh, what do you think she wants from Mama? Food. Yeah, she wants Mama's milk. So you think we should give her back to Mama now? Mm. Yeah. All right. You want to say I, I love, love you, sister? Uh, oh. Uh, how are we going to get to the garden to pick some carrots? Huh. But then the bunny said, 
We can go pick you some carrots. You're so perfect. You're so perfect, hon. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Oh, bless you three times. Oh. <laughs> well, she seems to be doing okay with me, so I get to hold her for a little bit to give Trinity a little bit of a break. She is having a bit of a rough time, definitely. After birth pains? Yeah, after birth pains, and she's having some bleeding, and so we're having to keep a close eye on it. It's 1.30 in the morning, and we're going to try to get some sleep here in a little bit, but we're going to have to wake up every once in a while and check to make sure she's not bleeding too much. But we have this healthy little girl here. What's your name? You want to tell us your name? No? Not yet? Okay. Not a big rush. Good morning, everyone. We have transferred to the bedroom. Uh, yes, go for the water. It's time to get some breakfast. Uh, Kids are watching Outdoor Boys right now. Thank goodness for good quality <laughs> video entertainment. You could do this stuff. Put the sun's in it. Sun's in it? Okay. So tired. <laughs> that was a long journey yesterday. It was. You are amazing. She looks like Cedar. I have this big picture of him when he's one day old. Oh. I think her hair is gonna fall out and turn blonde like that. Fall I was out. gonna say she looks like Axel. None of our kids ended up with my black hair. Which is so. sad. Oh my god. Look at her. All right, everyone, so it is time to drain the birth pool. This is already partially drained, but I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. I'm using the siphon method. Basically, uh, a liquid, if it's connected to two different reservoirs, it will balance out to where both reservoirs, the liquid in each, ends up being on the same horizontal plane, level with each other. The top of this water right here is about a foot and a half higher than the grass out here where the hose sits. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that there's no air in the line, no air in this water line. So you turn on the hose right here, that's connected to the water. It's running into there to fill it solid with water. And then you turn it off and disconnect this right here. And we wanna keep it high. You see how the water level is still right there? So if I go like this right now, you'll see water's gonna start coming out. Whoa, like that. Now that is the pool draining. And that is it, folks. You just sit this right here, and it'll drain. If we didn't run the water fully through it to get all air out of the line first, you would have to suck on this or get like a shot vac or something to get that suction through to get the line full of water. You also wanna make sure that the end of the hose is at the lowest point possible in the pool, and that'll be right over there in the crevice. And that will drain this entire pool in about I'd say about an hour. <laughs> Today is milk pickup day, so I'm gonna take Cedar and go pick up some milk. Hopefully, he'll fall asleep. You like fishing? Oh, you got one, dude. Let me see. Buddy. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we pick up the milk in the parking lot of a local grocery store. There's always a big line, but I'm really late and there's only one person in line. So that's good. One gallon of cow's milk, one gallon of goat's milk. Hi, dude. 
What's up? You ready to get up? Yes. All right. You're so great with her, Riv. What do you think, Cedar? You think she's going to be good at catching fish? <laughs> I think so. She's got you guys to teach her. So our neighbors just left us some postpartum banana gifts in the mailbox. Just now? That's so nice of them. Yeah, look at that. They're apple bananas. Uh, those neighbors? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so look what our neighbors left in our mailbox. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Fill it up with water and it doubles as a swimming pool for the kids. All right, I got something fun for you guys. Get your swimming suit on. So she is being very, very fussy right now, but yes. she's her tummy's getting more and more hungry because they, they so, only get tiny little drops of colosh. Yeah, the milk hasn't come in yet, so I'm gonna try to hold her because you need food to get that milk coming in. Baby's asleep right now. Oh my, oh my gosh, that was a pretty baby. Yeah. Nope, it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> River got a sister. Oh my gosh, Hi, Brooks. Hi, Brooks. We had we had another little girl. Look at her. You just so perfect. Yeah. It is so perfect and beautiful. And the adults talking like babies begins again. <laughs> well, I'm so glad to see you outside. Oh, I haven't been outside. I know it's not easy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sarah, you are an absolute hero. You're my hero. You really are. Yeah. She's amazing, you guys. Oh, yeah, you oh, oh, you hear mama, huh? I yeah. just go into the wild and I just make a sound and a wild woman comes and gives me milk. <laughs> <laughs> you want 12 days old. Mm. You're so beautiful. We love you, Maple Girl. Hi. We love you. You see the world? Oh, <laughs> it's a big wide world out here. It has been five weeks, actually five and a half weeks since our sweet little precious baby girl joined our family. And oh, it's been, uh, it's been kind of an intense five weeks after that birth. The birth was intense. Yeah, the birth was intense for sure. <laughs> She's a rock star, you guys. But recovery has also been slow and Patrick here has been doing an amazing job taking care of me and holding down the fort with all of these babies, which a four is a lot. It is. Oh anyway, so we wanted to end this video by just letting little baby girl say hi and also her. telling She's you what so her name is. Different. She looks so different, you guys. Hey, little girl. Oh, okay, you eating your hand. Hi, everybody. Yeah. You trying to eat your hand? Wow. She's just been so much fun. So yeah. sweet, just a very pretty chill personality. She started to smile a and lot. She started to, yeah, this last week she's really been smiling and uh -huh. making eye contact with us more, which is just so wonderful when yeah. they start to do that. So little girl, as we shared earlier, 
uh, we did actually name her Maple. But her full name is Maple Felicity, yeah. which I just love. Mm -hmm. That name has been with me for a long time. And after spending some time with her, we decided, yeah, I think that's who she is. Is that who you are? Yeah. Yes, you're just a beautiful Maple Felicity. And for but those of you who are coming from Adventure Agents, her agent name is Agent Ocean. Agent Ocean, yep. She was born here in Hawaii and uh, our the neighbor, ocean. Al. Yeah. When I was pregnant with Cedar, long story. Al, our neighbor, he <laughs> said, oh, his name's going to be Cedar. And we said, oh, no. Nah. Yeah. And we really didn't name him that until he was three days old, and it just came just, to us like, this is his name. Yeah. And he named this baby in utero Ocean, and we decided that wasn't her name, but it fits her as a perfect agent name for yeah. Adventure Agents. And I desperately needed the ocean in this pregnancy, so I was so grateful to be here in Hawaii. We lost twins in the first trimester four years. How many years ago was that? Uh, over four years ago. Mm -hmm. And since then, and, pre and Cedar's pregnancy with, with our toddler, our two-year-old, was very rough. Very rough. There were some scary moments there. My pregnancy with her was also very rough. I'd say it was my roughest pregnancy, especially toward the end. I just had a really mm -hmm. uh, a lot of difficulty with breathing and um, some iron deficiency and different things. So it made me extra, extra grateful that Patrick did all the things he did to get us here on this island for this baby to be born healthy and strong. Yeah. And it's just so amazing. We're so we grateful for so her, our little maple. So now we have our little tree babies. Cedar and maple. Cedar and maple. Yeah, Cedar is so sweet with her. Yeah, he, he, he just is. comes up and kisses her like. Yes, he's so sweet. Okay. He's a wild animal, but like yeah. with her, he's really, really sweet. So yeah. uh, we're so thankful. And for this journey to come full circle after losing Wild and True and to have our two babies, yep. it's like they're carrying on that life path like we all are, which is the Wild and True path. And, yep. and, we have and that's what this channel is called here. We love you, girl. Yes, we're so glad to see you in our family now. Yes. yes. And we're so excited to be able to share some of our family's journey here on Wild and True, which is what we'll be doing moving forward. Yeah. We'll be sharing some more personal family adventures, you know, getting back to our homestead in Washington. Yeah. Trying to solve see a lot of problems that we have there, over there. A lot and, of issues, mold, and yeah. we're having a hard time there. But we'll go into heartache. more details about all of that in upcoming videos here. Yep. So until next time, remember, life is an adventure. Wild and true. Love is the key. And love loves you. Bye. Bye.